Who gives this woman in marriage? Her mother and I do. <laughs> Don't step on the dress. There we go. I'll come a little closer. Something we want to understand as we go into this ceremony together is that marriage is more than about feelings. It's more than about love. It is a covenant that you make with each other. It is a promise. It is a commitment that you make. And Kenny, in light of these words, do you take Cheryl to be your wife, to live together in the covenant of marriage, forsaking all others, promising to love, comfort, honor, and protect her, loving her as Christ loves the church as long as you both live? I do. Cheryl, it's extremely important to men that they not only know that they are loved, but that they are respected. And in Ephesians 5, through 24, wives submit to your husbands and the Lord, for the husband is the head of the wife, as Christ is the head of the church, his body, which he is the Savior. Now, as the church submits to, the, to Christ, so also wives submit to their husbands in everything, because the wife must respect her husband. The submission in this relationship is not about rolling over and doing whatever the other wants. It is about doing what is best for each other. But it's very important that Kenny know that you respect him as the man that he is, the feelings that he has, and the things that he seeks that is best for your family together. So Cheryl, in light of these words, do you take Kenny to be your husband, to live together in the covenant of marriage, promising to love, comfort, honor, and respect him, forsaking all others as long as you both live? I do. <laughs> <laughs> there is a beautiful passage from 1 Corinthians 13 that describes the beauty of this kind of love that you are proclaiming to each other today. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no records of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects. It always trusts always hopes, always perseveres, love never fails. Hannah actually made it to the wedding with both rings. <laughs> I love that from her. <clears throat> it was great. Yeah. <laughs> and so Cheryl, I'm going to ask you, as y'all have written your own vows, uh, to go ahead and share your vows with Kenny at this time. Gladly. And then I will give you the ring to place on his finger. <clears throat> Kenny, when I was little, I never spent much time planning what my, met, what my wedding would look like. The princess dress, huge wedding cake, Prince Charming. It was all a nice idea, but never my priority. I was an independent, stubborn little girl focused on what was on much more important tasks. My schoolwork, my career, my future. And that remained true for most of my life. Then you came into the picture. You came into my life when I needed you the most. You came in as a friend and as a cheerleader, talking me through anxieties about rookie school and easing my fears of failure. You have become my rock, and you still are. You're kind, patient, and incredibly selfless. Your laugh brightens my day and makes me smile. You treat me with the utmost respect and make me feel cherished. You complement all my strengths and balance all my weaknesses. You make me want to be a better person. And because of that, my priorities have changed. While I am still that independent, stubborn young woman, <laughs> my focus has shifted. I am no longer making decisions just for myself, but for us and for our future. And that's pretty cool. You have given me my own happily ever after, and I couldn't be more grateful to God that he put you in my life. Kenny, pinky promises have always been important to us. We wouldn't dare break one. 
our vows should be treated much the same. So picture all of these as my pinky promises to you. I promise to attend as many of your, of your sporting events as I can. Even softball, sometimes. <laughs> I promise to always try to communicate with you and I'll always be honest with you. I promise to make you mad, a lot. But I also promise to work through our challenges together, not as two individuals. And I promise to always love you fully, deeply, and with my whole heart. <laughs> There's more. <laughs> it's just one sentence, don't get excited. <clears throat> You're simply the best, Kenny Mitchell, and I love you forever. Love you too. Cheryl, if you would take this ring and place it on Kenny's finger. Good job, Dave. Yes. Kenny, if you would now recite your vows. Oh, man. Not near as good. <laughs> <clears throat> Cheryl. The Lord works in mysterious ways. For example, I didn't know when I was applying for the police academy that he would put my future wife just a few seats down. Throughout the academy, the Lord worked his magic and drew us closer. One memory that I will always remember is when, when, when we were in the car with our friends on the way back from one of our trainings. <clears throat> <laughs> well, my plan. I told you I can't read my handwriting. Hmm? Oh. Mine? I know. I've oh, got it. <laughs> oh. I've got it. I found it. Yeah. Our friends asked what type of people we liked. I just so happened to describe you. You did not describe me. In fact, <laughs> You described the exact opposite. But in the end, I knew you needed me because I was driving the car. Over time, we've gotten to know each other pretty well. I learned that inside your hard outer shell, there's a sweet and kind soul. I also learned that you could finish an entire bucket of popcorn in one sitting. It's crazy to think how far we have come in just a few short years. I feel like I have known you my entire life. And now, I couldn't imagine life without you. You're the smartest and most beautiful girl I know. You make me the happiest man on earth, and you push me every day to be the best I can be. Cheryl, I promise to always be honest with you, to respect you, to be faithful to you, and to love you. I promise that I will always be there for you. When you are sad, I will comfort you. When you are scared, I will protect you. And when you are mad, I will maintain a safe distance and bring you snacks. <laughs> Cheryl, I love you with all my heart, and I'm honored to soon have you as my wife. I look forward to the many adventures we will soon have. But most of all, I look forward to having a sleepover with my best friend every night. I love you. Can if you would take your ring and place it on Cheryl's finger? Take hands. Jesus reminds us in Matthew 19 of the whole reason for coming together. For this reason, a man will leave his father and mother and be united to his wife, and the two become one flesh. So they are no longer two, but one. Therefore, what God has joined together, let no one separate. Because of this commitment that you have made to each other today, and before these witnesses today, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Wait for it. <laughs> Kenny, you may kiss your bride. Yeah! <laughs> Oh, Phil, will you please step out of the Yes, I've been told I have to be out of the kissing picture. <laughs> Again. <laughs> they just wanted to do it again. <laughs> <laughs>
Let's bow in prayer together as we bless this union. God, we do thank you for the wonderful gift that marriage is. We thank you for Cheryl and Kenny and their commitment to each other. We thank you for their families that have raised such fine young people. And we pray your blessing and guidance on them, that you will help them make wise decisions in the future. You will help them through the times that are difficult. You will help them always be there committed to each other. We thank you and we praise you. And we pray all these things in your son Jesus' name. Amen. Take her arm. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I permit, <laughs> present to you the Mitchells. Thank you.